With 85% of the worldwide businesses already using cloud technologies, cloud computing remains one of the hottest trends in the IT industry. The cloud computing industry is growing at an exponential rate, so there is no surprise that the demand for skilled cloud professionals is also increasing. So, how do you stand out from the crowd? This is where certification becomes important. Certification helps you build your credibility and confidence and also validates your cloud skills and knowledge. So today we're going to talk about the most popular AWS certification and also one among the top IT certification of 2021, which is the AWS Solutions Architect Certification. The certification validates your ability to design and deploy well-architected solutions on the AWS platform. Now, before we get into any more detail about the certification, I would like to address the agenda for today's topic. Firstly, we will understand who is a solutions architect and then look at some of the reasons to become a solutions architect. Moving on, we will see the roadmap to AWS solutions architect certification and the overview of the exam guide. Finally, we will talk about how can you start preparing for this role. Now, let us start the video by understanding who is an AWS solution architect. A solution architect is an individual who manages an organization's cloud computing architecture. They are responsible for solving complex business problems and designing the best architectural solution using AWS services for the clients. They are often referred as professionals who are responsible for creating the blueprints for application designs. The solution architect is one among the three major cloud engineering roles. The other two are the cloud developer and the sysops administrator. Now let us take a look at some of the roles and responsibility of a solution architect. They develop the best technical cloud strategy using the right architectural principles and services, which means solution architects have in-depth knowledge of architectural principles and services, which they use to develop technical cloud strategies. Solution architects are also responsible for designing, describing and managing the solutions to various business problems in the cloud infrastructure. They also assist companies in cloud migration effort. Cloud migration is when an organization moves its data and applications from on-premises architecture to the cloud. The job also includes reviewing workload architectures and providing guidance on how to address high-risk issues. These were just some of the roles and responsibility of a solutions architect. Now let us move on to the next topic and see why should one be a solution architect. According to the Forrester research, the global public cloud infrastructure market will grow 35% to $120 billion in 2021. By this we know there will always be a demand for skilled cloud professionals in the near future. According to a survey by CIO, Cloud Architect is one of the top in-demand jobs. There is also good enough job opportunities for a solution architect with over 5,000 job vacancies in India, 20,000 plus in the US and more than a lakh worldwide. Solution Architect is also one of the highest paying job roles in the IT industry. According to Glassdoor, the average salary for a Cloud Architect in India is 19,50,000. The average salary for a cloud architect in United States is $131,000. The average salary for a cloud architect in the UK is £71,696. Adding to the list of why should one be a solution architect, we have the fifth point which is it provides the most flexible future learning path. After you are certified as a solution architect associate level, you can either opt for the professional level or choose any of the specialty certification such as big data, machine learning or security. Now let us move on to the next topic for today and see the roadmap to AWS Solutions Architect Certification. First we have the Cloud Practitioner Certification. Next we have the Solution Architect Associate Level Certification and then the Solution Architect Professional Level Certification. We will discuss about each of the certification in details now. The first certification is a Cloud Practitioner Certification. The certification will help you have an overview of the AWS concepts and services and will also give you a fundamental understanding of the cloud concepts. This is the easiest certification and a beginner level certification. 
but it will require six months of experience with the AWS cloud in any role. It could be technical, managerial, sales, purchasing, or financial. The next certification is the Cloud Architect Associate Certification. The certification is for individuals who perform a solution architect role. The certification will help you validate your technical expertise in designing and deploying scalable, highly available, and fault tolerant system on the AWS platform. For this certification, you should have knowledge of how to architect and deploy secure and robust application on AWS technologies, and also provide guidance on best practices to the organization throughout the life cycle of the project. The certification requires one or more years of experience designing distributed system on the AWS platform. The next certification is AWS Certified Solution Architect Professional Certification. This is the expert level of certification. The certification is for individuals who want to excel as a solutions architect. To take up this examination, you should have practical experience. The certification is very tough and most of the questions are based on real-time scenarios. You will have to migrate complex multi-tier applications on AWS and design and deploy enterprise-wide scalable operation on the AWS platform. A difference between the professional and the associate level certification is, in the associate level certification, you do not require in-depth knowledge of every concepts in AWS. But in the professional level, you should have in-depth knowledge of many concepts in the AWS platform. Now let us move on to the next topic and see the overview of the exam guide. The overview of the examination guide is of the associate level certification. In the format, you will have two types of question. One is multiple choice and the other one is multiple responses. In multiple choice, there is one correct answers in four options and in multiple responses, there are two correct answers out of five options. The time for this examination is 130 minutes and the cost for this examination is 150 US dollars. You can write this examination in either English, Japanese, Korean or simplified Chinese. Now let us take a look at the domains from which the questions are asked. The first domain is to design resilient architecture from which 30% of the questions are asked. The second domain is designing high performing architectures from which 28% of the questions are asked. The third domain is to design secure applications and architectures from which 24% of the questions are asked. And finally, the fourth domain is to design cost optimized architectures from which 18% of the questions are asked. Finally, moving on to a last topic for today, which is how can you prepare for this role? Firstly, I would advise you to start from the basics. If you are a fresher, then I would advise you that before you start practicing cloud computing, these are some of the fundamentals you should consider. The first one is networking, which includes routing, IP addresses, networking layers, and networking protocols. Second, learn about computer security, which would cover basics of access policies, encryption, data security. Third, learn about computer architecture, in this, try to understand how system design principles and fundamentals surrounding it works. And finally, learn about SQL and Linux fundamentals. You can learn these topics by watching YouTube videos or researching about them online. Next, I would definitely recommend you to take the Cloud Practitioner certification as this will give you the fundamental understanding about the important cloud concepts. Learning for this certification would cover security and compliance, cloud technology, cloud concepts and billing and pricing, which are very helpful for solution architect certification. The next step would be working on AWS projects. You can work on projects on different services. Start with the easier project initially and then move on to the difficult ones. You can find some good projects on Amazon Web Services official website. The next step which will help you prepare for the role is learning and practicing the important AWS services for the certification. Some of the important services are Elastic Compute Cloud, Simple Storage Service, Relational Database Service, Virtual Private Cloud, Amazon Kinesis, and Amazon Lambda. You can practice some of the services using AWS Free Tire Account. AWS Free Tire Account allows you to access over 85 AWS services for free. All you have to do is submit the required information asked, 
and you can start practicing 85 plus services for free. Moving on to our next step, which is referring white papers and the frequently asked questions. White papers will give you technical knowledge about various AWS concepts and services. Two of the best white papers for the certification would be Architecting for the Cloud, AWS Best Practices and AWS Well Architecture Framework. The frequently asked questions will help you clear your doubt regarding the certification. The next step for preparing for the certification is solving practice test questions. You can practice what you have learned in the previous step by solving practice test questions. You can find practice test questions on various websites such as Knowledge Hut, WizLabs, and Digital Cloud Training. Now, if you want to follow a structured approach, then opt for an online training certification course. I would highly recommend our instructor led training sessions through which you will be able to effectively architect and deploy secure and robust applications using AWS. This AWS training course will also help you identify the appropriate AWS service based on databases, network, storage, cost optimization, compute, and security requirements. Take a look at some of the highlights of our AWS training features. We have 30 hours of online live instructor led classes, and it will be weekend classes, which will be 10 sessions of 3 hours each. And each class will be followed by a quiz to access your learning. You will get lifetime access to LMS web presentation, quizzes, installation guides, and class recordings are available. Also, if you have any doubts, you can reach out to us. We have 24 into 7 expert support. And after you complete the certification course, you get a certification from Edureka stating you have completed an online training certification from us. And also, you will be a part of our forum where you can interact and share your knowledge with us. With this, we have come to the end of this video. Hoping you people would have found this video helpful. Happy learning.